Hi everyone and welcome to day 22 in the iron series and today chest and back. The timer is going to be on for the majority of the workout, 1 minute of work, 30 second rest. Pretty much every exercise will be performed for two sets, however if it is single arm, like a single arm row, we will do one side, other side and again and again. So today we're starting with the chest, we then move into some back, before we then revisit some chest with some push ups and a little bit more back before the finisher. As you can see here, the finisher is a combination of a back and chest exercise. Our renegade rows into push ups. Single arm row, single arm row, push up. With the renegade row, try to keep your hips in line as if you were actually in a plank. So try not to lift those hips. Imagine a glass of water actually sitting on your back and you're really trying to prevent those hips from moving while you're doing that single arm row. Legs are gonna be slightly wider than you would maybe do push-ups. So open those legs that little bit wider for the renegade rows and really squeeze the quads and glutes. Brace that core. All you'll need for today's workout are some dumbbells and your mat. The dumbbells I'm using for the majority of the workout are 20 kg each. However, I will also be using 10 kg each and that will be for the flies and also the renegade rows at the very end. As you can see, I also have a chair. However, this is completely optional. It is simply for our single arm bent over rows. Of course, you can do these on a bench or you can actually just simply lean on your knee and row, which is what I actually typically do with my bent over rows. So today I just wanted to play about and bring in a chair so I can lean on it. It is completely up to you, it is not essential. Today we have two types of bent over rows. As you can see here, this is a more strict row. Basically, pretty much nothing else in the body is going to be moving. You will be braced, however, you're really going to try and slowly lift with that side. Then we also have our momentum rows, where we are actually using a little bit of momentum to bring that dumbbell up. However, try to focus again on that slow release. Bring it up and then slow release. And I think that's it. This is a solid chest and back workout. However, pretty much every single muscle in the upper body and a lot of the lower body will be involved in some of the moves as well. Are you ready to lift? Let's go.
Energía, más energía, más energía.